Painting with a spoon. Hi, art family. Did you know that the direction and shape of your brush strokes will create a specific emotion that's unique to you as an artist? So let's talk about that today as I demonstrate for you how I'm gonna be adding texture and specific emotions into this hot air balloon painting. The technique that you see here is called Daubism. If you watched last week's video, we painted this hot air balloon in acrylic. So we created an underpainting uh, using acrylic on canvas and that's thoroughly dry. And now it's time to add the texture on top. Welcome to my studio. It's Dina Tollefson. And I am so glad that you're here. Let's talk now about how your personal brush strokes and paint application methods will create specific emotions. So first, if you want to make your artwork give off a sense of calm, then you're going to orient your brush strokes in a balanced, but also random way with no specific pattern. This gives an overall Zen feeling and uh, maybe think of leaves on the ground, that type of thing. What kind of a, just a, just a very calm and Zen feeling. Now let me show you how I can take that same color acrylic paint, the same brush, same artist, that's me, and the same brush stroke, but by orienting my strokes all in a strong diagonal, now my work has a sense of urgency or drive. And think of driving rain, how that, how that comes down, how that feels, but that sense of urgency in the brush stroke. If I wanted to make my painting feel thoughtful or reflective, I'm going to be orienting my brush strokes and my paint application in a circular pattern. So see how this feels different than the calm zen and the urgent stroke patterns? And if you think about a quiet drip of water on a calm sea, that gives that feeling, a thoughtful or reflective feeling. There are so many emotions that you can create just through your brush strokes. So let me show you one more example. So here's an energetic brush stroke. Same brush, same artist, that's me. Same color, same paper. But see, can you see how this feeling, this painting, feels like a firework just by the direction that I'm applying the paint? You can apply these ideas in your own work. And your personal mark, the way you apply paint, that is going to be unique to you and it is part of you as a part of your artistic identity. Applying a mixture of ultramarine blue and titanium white with a spoon up here at the top of the sky. Now a phthalo blue red shade, titanium white, and a touch of yellow ochre uh, for the middle of the sky. And this thin little painting knife makes a wonderful short little marks or you can make long elegant marks with that same tool. And say hi to Scrunchy, my little studio helper. Scrunchy is my Yorkshire Terrier and she's inspecting everything for me. She's so great. So now on my painting you can see on the balloon itself that I've used a calm stroke. But in the air I'm using an energetic stroke by angling all of the brushwork and the paint daubs in an expansive and energetic way. This emotion is conveyed solely through the way that the paint is applied. I want my focal point in the painting to be the junction where the people are in silhouette inside that balloon basket and they're contrasting with the bright rays of the morning sun. And this energy point is the genesis for all the marks radiating out, sending warmth into the sky. I'm using a variety of spoons and painting knives to apply the paint and thinking very carefully about paint placement. Each mark as it's going on, the direction and the placement of it. This neutral gray was mixed with titanium white, Mars black, and a small touch of dioxidine purple. Final touches here with that narrow painting knife and all following the movement established at the sun's rays. 
So this painting was created for the sky is the limit art challenge that I'm hosting here on YouTube. And these art challenges are a lot of fun and open to all artists. So be sure to subscribe to my channel if you would like to participate so that you'll know when new group challenge opportunities are announced. Well, I hope you have enjoyed today's video and learn more about applying your paint to generate emotion here on this playlist. I've got a playlist here at the end of the video. Be sure to watch that uh, for more information. So until next time, it's Dina Tollefson and all my best to you. Bye-bye.